Someone recently asked me a question about what size their stair stringers should be, 2x12, 2x14. And it's difficult for me to say. I mean, I've thought about this a lot. Can I provide you with some type of a formula? I really can't. I'm not an engineer, and uh, but I can provide you with the experience. Now, keep in mind, in my early days, I probably built over a thousand stairs, and uh, most of them were conventional stairways that were um, 13 treads and 14 risers built out of 2x12, and they worked just fine. So I'm just going to base this video off of my experience. So we're going to use in our examples, we're going to keep everything the same height. I'm just going to add a few more risers to it. Um, treads are going to be 10 inches. So we're going to use this one here, I believe, as five risers, six risers, eight risers, and 10 risers. And the one with five risers here has a, has a riser height of nine and five sixteenths. Remember, this is uh, wouldn't work good for your building inspector wouldn't like it. They don't want to see them over eight inches and seven and three quarter inches is a building code for most uh, stairs, but some residential stairways can qualify for the eight inch maximum measurement. So 10 inch tread, nine and five sixteenths riser out of two by 12, 11 and a half inches wide, is going to leave us with four and 11 sixteenths of an inch here. And this is kind of the structural part of the stair stringer. Once we cut the notch out of it, we weaken the stringer and uh, kind of reduces it from a two by 12 to, you know, something in between a two by four and a two by six, if that makes sense. So the point I want to make right now with these four examples is that the riser height and the tread length is going to impact this measurement here. So for this, for an example, for this right here, if I was just going to build a five step stairway, I would imagine this would be fine. Anything close to five inches here for a five step stairway would be fine. Uh, if it's going to be a little longer, that's going to need to be this would need to be two by 14. Again, two by 12, 10 inch treads, seven and three quarter riser this time. And this leaves us with five and three eighths. And these are the kinds of stairs like I was telling you about that I built a lot of. And is if they had walls underneath them in the center, or I could attach them to walls on either side. So the center stringer wouldn't be attached to anything, but the wall on either side could attach to an interior wall. Then you're going to have a sturdy stairway using this right here. But that would be for a 13 step stairway, by the way. And it, and it might even qualify for longer depending upon the supports that you have. So what I have here is five and 13 sixteenths. This one is eight risers, 10 inch tread, again, two by 12. But now I have six and almost a half inches, six and 17 um, of an inch here for a two by 12. And of course, this would be plenty for a stairway like this. And I would imagine a stairway like this that was going to go up, um, you know, if you were going to have a stringer that was 18 foot long, I would imagine you would be fine with a stairway like this because you really got a lot of meet here. The next one, I'm going to kind of throw things up uh, here. I'm going to put a use a two by 10 stringer. That still leaves me five and a quarter inches, um, 10 inch tread, four and five eighths uh, risers. And this isn't going to be a common stairway. You know, if you uh, check out one of my videos, the 17 and a half inch rule for a stairway, you'll see why, but I won't go into any more detail on that. Maybe I'll put a link here for you. And you can check it out yourself. So this would be a sturdy stairway. And if you're going to ask me for a formula, remember, you know, I'm not an engineer. If I didn't say that already, um, I can't provide you with engineering advice. But I would say if you have five and three quarters, five and a half, let's say five and a half to six inches, you're probably going to be pretty good on a stairway that would be up to 18 foot long for a stringer, something like that. Uh, anything longer is probably gonna have to be a two by 14. And again, 
these that I'm talking about this measurement right here. I'm not talking about the risers and the treads, um, just this measurement here using this to figure out what size of stair stringer you would need for your project. Now, to figure this out, you know, I kind of created a simple thing here. You know, I hate to, to get complicated. I just took an eight, eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper and you could do this. And if you need your measurement for your treads or your risers are gonna be a little longer, then just tape a couple pieces of paper together or use a piece of plywood. You could do this with a piece of plywood also. Just come down seven inches if you have a seven inch rise and 10 inches for your treads and then measure the distance right here. So we're gonna have, we got five and three quarters right here and this is just a square line off of the corner of the tip of the uh, two by two by 12 or two by 14, whatever you're gonna use for your stringer, kind of an idea. And uh, then we could subtract this from the length or the, the width of our material. If we're gonna use a two by 12, this is actually half the distance. 11 and a half inches would give us another five and three quarter inches. So seven and 10 inches would be fine for most stairways up to, um, you know, it, it would be 18 foot long kind of a thing. But again, I'm saying this with, um, you know, if the stairway is going to be 24 foot wide and, um, you know, you're going to have uh, 500 people walking up and down on it or, you know, 10 people at a time, this might not work. So what I'm giving you here is just kind of a general idea on how you could figure out what size stair stringers you could use or if it's going to be a problem because you don't have enough uh, meat in the area. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully my explanation made sense. And uh, if it doesn't, feel free to leave questions any questions in the comment area and uh, I will answer them as soon as possible.